discuss it. But here's the second reason it's fucking stupid. There's absolutely no historical evidence, period, that any of these disciples existed. Just like there's no historical evidence that Jesus existed, there's no evidence whatsoever ever outside these made-up fairy tale stories in the Bible that these guys existed, period. And here's the even crazier part. It doesn't even say in the Bible that they were going to be put to death, they were given the choice not to be put to death, and they renounced their faith in Jesus Christ, and they chose to do so. It doesn't even say that in the Bible, much less anywhere else in history, much less it didn't fucking happen ever. This argument is so childish, it makes me want to asphyxiate a goddamn smurf. So when I went out and researched this stuff for myself and found out there's no historical evidence that Jesus existed, period, I gotta admit, man, I was kind of fucking irritated. Because if they can't even prove this guy existed, period, obviously all the bullshit, horseshit, fairy tales they told about him are true. They're not even almost close to proving the very basic start of what they had to fucking prove to prove any of this shit is true. I mean, come on, before you join a cult and teach this horseshit to your children, at least do the most basic amount of research about it. That's the very least you can do. If not, if you're not even willing to do that, if you're not even willing to do the most basic amount of research to your cult before you join it, don't you have to admit to yourself you're a fucking idiot? Don't you have to admit to yourself that you're not an intellectual? Don't you have to admit to yourself that you are fucking dumb? Because you are fucking dumb. If you take this shit to your children, if you spread this shit, if you give your heart on money to this shit without even doing the most basic amount of fucking research, you're a moron. You don't have to be a gullible fool that leaves ancient fairy tales written by primitive screwheads they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. You don't have to be a slave to faith anymore. Faith is not your friend. There's a reason they call it faith. Because it's not logic. Logic.